Yes. What do you think about tomorrow's number? How are you, how are you getting ready for it? Well, I think tomorrow's number may actually add to the string of positive surprises that we have seen on inflation. I mean, you know the consensus is looking for a flat or slightly negative month-over-month -month print and core inflation to come down to 5.7%. This would be huge, and I think there is a good chance that we get something in line with, the, with that consensus numbers. The reason I say this, guys, because if you look at components of CPI, all of them slowly but surely have been adding to this lower inflation yep. narrative. I mean, for example, look at the goods component. The goods CPI was running at 16% year over year sometime last summer. It is now running at 5.3%. And if you look at the month over month numbers for goods inflation, it's actually deflationary now. So that's a great development. Whether you look at fuel, whether you look at fertilizer, some of those prices have started to come down. And then of course we've got the wage report last week which showed that wage inflation eased from 5.6% to 4.6% year over year. So you, you add that together, you look at you know some of the the recent rent prices that we have been getting and they're starting to ease off too on a month over month basis. So so I think it bodes well for the number tomorrow and to kind of to your lead in point here which is maybe we should listen to the markets. Well that's what the markets are sniffing out right now is that we might actually yep. have a string of positive developments on inflation. You say the market's sniffing it out. Hasn't the market already sniffed it out? Isn't that what's been priced? Isn't that what we've seen in terms of the rally that we've been getting? Isn't this already discounted? And if it is, don't we need to see a really soft number, therefore, to get equities to move tomorrow? Yeah, but but I still think, you know, if we get confirmation, I mean, look, we have not priced in a 100% probability of a soft number. We've priced in some sort of probability. So I agree with you. That's what's driven the market. But I think if we get a positive surprise, if we get in line, that's still the reason for optimism. That's still the reason to cheer. So I think the market can still move on that.